some of our friends in like Holler Scholars, but hey, right, we're gonna get into this game. We got a uh, over on the left side, Snooper playing as the Roost once again, sticking with the tried and true. And finally, like it was only very shortly before the tournament that they actually came up with the idea of playing Roost. Uh, they were gonna go English French before this. But they're gonna they're gonna go with the wrist play, seeing the house, the hunting cabin, labor camp, or oh, labor camp, lumber camp come up already. And over on this southern southern side of the map, we have Dinky King playing as the French once again. Yeah, I was going to say the labor camp is a different period of Russian history. Yes, uh, but we won't go into that here. All right, and the north side as the green player, we have Sim Tom representing Eyes on the Forest or Eyes in the Forest, I should say. They're playing the Roost as well, and their teammate, Nyan Racing Cat, over in the yellow, will also be playing French. So we got a French Roost mirror. We're going to see, like, is this going to be the case for the whole set? Or are they going to be, like, both sticking with this? Like, Yeah. It's a strong combination. Uh, if you're going to watch uh, Snoopa's um, bounty as it rises, I'll watch sometimes so that we can, like, Keep an eye on both teams. Okay, so yeah, Snooper just hitting, just going past the 100 mark. Simtom also at pretty close at 90. Okay, so ooh, like minor lead there for Snooper, who is actually getting a lot more. Found a nice deer patch to kill. Oh, that scout's in danger, though. Well. I think pursue. it. Yeah, I should be fine. The, the scout broke off. Uh, but this scout. A little bit of idle time on that. I will say it's going to be interesting to see if two Roost players can both get to 500 bounty on a 2v2 map. I don't... Because we've seen one Roost player do it. I don't think it's possible. Especially yeah, if you've got like another player who... Actually, that's the interesting question. Is if you're the teammate of the Roost player, do you try and deny deer at all? Or deny wolves? Or do you like try and like get your teammate to get them? Like if you're a Dinky King or if you're a Nyan Racing Cat, are you like trying to go for any of the the hunt on the map? So far it doesn't seem like they are. Okay. And oh these blue dots are incredibly difficult to make out. But I'm keeping an eye on them. Alright, so we have a 260 bounty note right now for Snooper, so. 290 for Simtom. Okay. 300 for Simtom. Alright, Snooper uh, just... Deer somewhere, as we speak. Yeah, Snooper also taking another deer camp. There's a wolf nearby as well, so that's another 25. Mm. Uh, it's going to be interesting kiting that back to his base, because he has to do it without going through Dinky King's base, because that town oh, center true. could... So it's going to be a bit of a, a Metal Gear Solid moment here. To like, oh, actually, I mean, you could always just sit there and kill it. That works too. Oh, but Sim Tom's near, and they're actually going to fight it out to see who can get the last hit on this wolf. Oh, who's going to get it? I Sim Tom took it. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Okay, but we see Golden Gate coming up here on the side of Snooper. Oh, um, wow. Sim Tom's way ahead on the Golden Gate. Oh, yeah. That's a huge thing. And, like, taking a look at these timings... Dink Actually, we're looking at True Blue being behind economically. Not often we've seen that. Oh, and the harass as well. Dinky King. Okay, so they're a little bit behind in terms of, like, the timing on their uh, age up, but this is some really nice harass coming in on the gold. True. And I don't think we're seeing that on the opposite side. No, that gold camp's completely safe. So these guys are actually going to get some good damage here. I don't think they're going to stop the villagers, though. The villagers are just kind of sitting there tanking it. Oh, is he going to lose a scout? Oh, loses one. That's huge. That is huge. That is like a massive reduction in damage. Uh, oh, is he going to lose the other scout? And the knight's about to pop out. 
Oh, almost loses the second scout as well. That's pretty rough. Knight comes out. And yeah, this is the part of the game where we're going to see a lot of aggression coming out from both sides. I don't think True Blue is that far behind that they're going to... Like, they'll be on the defensive, but I don't think they're going to have, like, a unit disadvantage. Like, I think the reinforced pass is long enough that they won't fall behind in, like, unit count when they get attacked. It really depends on the composition, though. Uh, we're seeing Binky King get the early blacksmith, and Snoopa going for archery range barracks. So, and, wait, stable, stable from Simtom. That's unexpected for me. Are they going to go double knight? I think so. Yeah, double knight. That wow. is not something we've seen so far. And, oh, I love these palisade walls, by the way, up on the, the northern side. Simtom's oh, like... So yeah, Simtom recognizes that there's going to be a lot of, like, harassment potential in this matchup. And they're just going to... At the same time, there's not that much in the way of resources in that corner of the map aside from Ward. I think it's mostly just there to stop harassment. And wood is actually very valuable, so... Oh, true. Yeah, especially late in the game. Yeah, it just wants to cut off that potential harass. And yeah, now any kind of aggression is forced to go, like, basically between the two bases. And actually, I'm kind of curious. Do they, do they know that's happening? No, so actually there's no scouting on those walls. So those could end, like, any kind of, like, counterattack could end up getting trapped. Alright, knight's coming in. We've got a fight here in the center. Oh, good focus fire from Dink. He picks off one knight. Only takes a little bit of damage on his own. Oh, okay. I'm actually just going to quickly pause for a few seconds, just because it's lagging slightly. And then we're going to unpause it. And that should fix that. On the other side, Simtom has located uh, Snoopa's forward hunting cabin, but has been chased off by the spear and archers. Yeah, that makes and sense. And yeah, Snoopa's going full Spear Archer. Double range, double barracks. What are we seeing over here? We're just seeing, yeah, we're seeing double knights. And two archery ranges coming out from Simtom. So, right, they're just going to go knight archer. Oh, is that a third archery range? No, just two. Okay. So we're just going to see a lot of knights coming out from both players. Oh, sorry, I'm ending what I said. Uh, one barracks, three archery range for a snooper. Okay. I mean, he might want to get a bit more spears than that, given that there's, like, a lot of knights coming out, but... True. Let's take a look. These knights from Nyan doing a bit of good harass here. But they're just going to get kind of, like, Pecked at by these archers in the tensor. Oh, they do find one vill. And there's counter harass from Dinky King as well on uh, the end space. This is really tense. <laughs> yeah, like it really is. Like either way, it could. Uh, yeah, it just takes like some knights getting in, doing a lot of damage to. Yeah. For it to really go either way. And yeah, neither player, like I'm looking at the resources, neither player has got stone at all, so we're not going to see any kind of like extra town centers or anything. Both players are just going to play very aggressively. Uh, Dinky missed an opportunity to pick up like one easy villager. You would have taken a lot of damage on his knights for it, but I think he's okay for that for the moment. And very interestingly, goes for the attack upgrade before the armor upgrades. I guess, like, isn't too oh. worried about taking archer damage with those knights. More worried uh, about just, like, doing extra damage to his opponent's knights. With Thinky King, I think that might be from the French getting the attack upgrade for free. Oh, yes. Sorry, I forgot about that. Good point. I even play French. I should know these things. You switched to Mongols, though. Eh, I play both. Oh, did you switch? Oh, well, okay. Both. Yeah, they're both good. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy playing both of them. Okay, but actually, interestingly, I don't see any upgrades from Yan. Is there a blacksmith coming up at all? No. In one yet. Yeah, no blacksmith whatsoever. And 
Oh, yeah, Dinky, both Dinky and Snoop are being very aggressive in like where they're taking resources on the map, I will say. Oh, a little bit of a potential fight here. No, archers are just gonna keep running. They aren't gonna shoot. Oh, but those knights there from Simtom just staying still for a little bit too long. And those don't heal over time, so any damage they take is permanent. At least until Castle Age. Alright, what are we seeing? Knights chasing other knights in the center of the map. Oh, and now we're finally seeing like archers versus archers coming out. Classic Rus on Rus action. Yep, although the spears is gonna make it very different. Are they gonna kill these knights? They get they get two knights. Nicely done. Almost so get a third. From the archers, though. Yeah, they did take a lot of damage from the archers, but killing knights, that's a big uh, loss and there. Now, and now Dinky King's knights are coming in. And there's nothing to protect the archers from some time. Yeah, this is one thing I heard people talking about is like if you can just get knights on top of your opponent's archers, like that is kind of like a, a killing blow almost. Oh, and yeah, there's a lot of damage coming in here. And we're seeing. I don't know if you need to go this deep. That's a lot of defensive power. But we do see the upgrade advantage here. Dinky does have plus one plus one. But that that town center is actually just a machine gun right now and is kind of murdering everything. So yeah, they're just gonna pull back a bit. And oh wow, Nyan Racing Cat has a huge amount of knights. Eleven versus, you know, those like three that are, well, say three, two that are running away now. And Oh yeah, the knight charge is going to allow for more hits to come in. So more knights getting picked off on the retreat. Oh, that scout comes in body block slightly. And yeah, that's actually a really bad fight there for Dinky King. Taking a oh, lot no. of damage. The and the outpost are so vulnerable. Yeah, and I think yeah, they're all going to go down to those knights. The knights hitting that tower does prevent them from healing, but I don't think it matters that much. The army's arriving though from Snoopa. And the oh. knights after a retreat. Yeah, because yeah, like those spears, there aren't that many of them, but they trade so efficiently. Like, and do so much damage so quickly that like if you get caught and the spears are just able to wail on your knights, that's like really bad. But Dinky, lots of idle time forced here. Snoop is just like this is five spears just charged straight into like what was that like eleven knights something like that? Yeah, that that's not a fight that goes well for spears. No, they had a bit of a numbers disadvantage there, and they didn't kill any of the spears or any of the knights. I don't think. I think they killed a the scout. Several of the knights did die to archers, though. Uh, they were left uh, attacking the outpost while the archers came up on them. Oof, that's a bit rough. But there are there are just so many knights here from Nian. So I'm curious this is gonna go. So we see a wall coming out here for Snooper, but there's a gap in the wood line now. Chopped a bit too much of those trees. So they're actually gonna be very vulnerable to getting killed. Oh, and now we see the archer reinforced here from Sinton. That's a huge force of archers. Yeah. Sometimes actually at 52, sorry, 51 military population right now. That's incredible. Meanwhile, Dinky King was at, I think, six. Oh, wow. Military. Up to seven now. Slightly better, but that 50 archers? Eh. Oh, and the villagers now on the wood line getting chased off. That military count's going to drop again. We see the boar going down. Stupid so takes that out. Actually, I'm kind of curious, what's the bounty like for Simtom? It's only 430 for Snooper right now. Uh, Simtom, it's at 475, so a little closer to what it needs to be, but uh, not over the line yet. Right, yeah, I feel like that's not going to happen at all. Um, yeah. These knights, I mean, they're kind of just sitting in between a whole bunch of towers shooting at them, so we're going to see some of these go down. But that's a lot of forced idol. There's like 20 villagers like having to be forced off of the work. 30 even, I think, momentarily. 30 out of the 40 economy population for Dinky Pan. 
and five military. And even like the counter attacking knights are getting chased by more knights, so. Yeah. Yeah, things are just not looking good. But Snoop is still in the game. And Dinky King's not completely out of it yet. There's still, a, there's always a way to recover. That is true. These knights just casually going on a tour of the side of the map. Do they actually know about the wall yet? No, they still haven't scared that there's a wall. Probably suspects that there is one, but... Yeah. Oh, one knight goes down on the north. Unfortunate Sintom's there. military is getting so big. 73 units. 73 military units. That's larger than Dinky King's entire population. I'm going to take a quick look over here. Dinky King sitting on 42 economy, 7 military. Meanwhile, Nyan Racing Cat over on 48 and 18. So, yeah, there's a big difference yeah. between the two French players. This has the potential to be the decisive push coming in now with the run. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a lot of military there from Simtom. It turns out that archers counter knights if you just make enough of them. Yeah, that is to seem to be the case. And we see like a knight coming out from Snooper. There's a bunch of knights in the back, but no, there's just too many archers. And yeah, even these rams doing a ton of damage. That tower goes down. All those villagers are now very vulnerable. And yeah, these are upgraded archers too, so they're just going to do a ton of damage against these knights. I think this might be game one. Steadily tearing their way through Dinky King's base. That's very true. Blacksmith goes down. Before, but they're, that's still enough. 44, 42. Yeah, it's I mean, take a while to deplete that whole army. there are villagers like getting caught up in this mix as well. So I think Dinky King, yeah, losing economy while all this is going on. Dinky King yeah. still at 40 economy and half of it idle. Snoop is just like, yeah, Snoop I'm out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dinky kind of still sitting in it. I think he, does he want to like pick off a couple more units with his defenses or... Is this just like a little bit of frustration on them saying? Yeah, I don't know actually. I think he's just sitting in it though. Maybe he just wants to take a bit of extra time. A little time to think, always useful. Yeah. They do have the option to uh, change their sieves for the next game. This is true. So yeah, they get the map counter pick, they get the sieve counter pick. But Eyes in the Forest, doing a very good job here, taking that first game. And yeah, I guess we take a quick look at the timeline. Oh yeah, look at that timeline. Village account. Wow. Yeah, there was just way more harassment coming out uh, on the side of Eyes in the Forest, doing a lot more damage. And yeah, that village account just like stopped going up at some point for True Blue. And like military count. Yeah, look at that army of Simtom, just like absolutely massive. They took an army lead 10 minutes into the game and kept it through the entire rest of the game. Yeah, it just grew, honestly. With just such a big difference. So, yeah, really nicely played. And we're going to go into the next game.